two, emotions and learning. What would you ask the artist about the painting? Dear painter, can you share how you made the blue we find in certain of your paintings? Sometimes I catch it throwing a goddish glow over everything in the eye of a storm covered in lightning. I fear without you, the color will not be seen again, except perhaps inside us, where the bones hold its mercurial shades in them. Matisse, sir, did your bones have the blues in them? Where else might the remains be found? We sometimes find the color in denim when the rain dampens it. Once or twice making love, when I closed my eyes, I found myself in a tabernacle of the hue you have left hanging on the walls around us. Hello, goat, master of the show. I have very little use for blueberries, blue jays, skies, sapphire, and the hymns and the garments of policemen. But the lines we see hand-painted on porcelain come close. I might use it on a Ming vase, this blue, or in cases of chaos or rapture. And if I fell into darkness, I would gaze upon it and thank you. Mid-fall, Icarus shows how a misstep expands behind you, how one can come to a conclusion using the wrong calculus. The man who covered his coins in honey before eating them in gooseberries also turned a distasteful blue. The ennui we wish to cover and uncover and free and contain, as in how hard it is to describe your own accent as in the way the bluest eye has so much blackness in it. If people born in a season of ice are usually crawling by summer, how much do you suppose that, dis that determines their general disposition? Above us are constellations a soul needs for guidance, the anthems of sawdust and approximation. As if in matters of our bodies, we are the least reliable witnesses. You find upon exit the tubes of dissuetitude paintings painters used in the exhibit. I was born for this moment because this is the moment I was born, you say. It is always the color of history. Can you share how you made the blues outlast and outline us? How long did you swim or drown or float or swallow them, esteemed ghost? Henri, if I may, ennui. Henri, ennui. Envoy of Picasso's Blue. The first drawing Pablo Picasso made as a toddler with a single blue crayon and onion skin for tools made his father, an average painter, weep with loss and desire, and weep again, showing the drawing to Picasso's mother, who also wept. The drawing was said to have been lost after the death of Picasso's sister, Cochita, of diphtheria when the family moved to Barcelona, but it reappeared years later somewhere you'd never expect. To truly grasp any of Picasso's later work, you should know whether the sister's death conjured a bird or bull's eye view of loss and faith, and if the experience instilled a constant mysterious feeling in him whether everything that happened to the artist before age 9 or 10, or even before 9 or 10 a.m., influences whether an instrument is held like a tool or weapon that day. Loss and desire is always in the eye of the maker and beholder. Picasso, of course, grew to make many more haunted, perceptive scenes, but the stranger who found the drawing had no idea who'd made it, only that the lines and blue crayon on onion paper conjured a mysterious feeling in him. It looks somehow like a perfectly drawn landscape, said the neighbor, resting his weary hand on his garden fence, thinking the stranger, showing him a drawing in the middle of the day, slightly stranger than he'd thought before. Returning to his dirt, when the stranger had left, the neighbor felt something come over his eyes. The quixotic, Quaking in all his blind spots, he spent the rest of his days trying to describe. <laughs>